Hi, let's take a look at the setup and workflows of New Window 11 with the latest Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.7 using multiple group beds and two computers. In this example, I will use a Mac computer to run New Window 11 and a Dolby Atmos Renderer remote software and a Windows computer to run the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.7 using two Yamaha AIC 128D Dante PCIe cards. In this example, I will use Dante Via to patch the AIC 128D card in a Windows computer to headphone for Banwall playback. First, open the Dolby Atmos renderer to create multiple group beds under Window, Input Configuration. In this example, I have created three 7.1.2 group beds for Dialog, Music, and Effects. Once the group beds have been created, you should see the ports used for the group beds locked in purple on the Input Status Indicator section of the renderer. For Banwall playback, I have set the headphone processing to Banwall under Preferences, and the Render Mode settings for beds and objects can be adjusted on the Banwall Render Mode window of the Dolby Atmos renderer under Window, Banwall Render Mode. Now within New Window 11, I have checked 30 device ports for the three group beds I have created in a Dolby Atmos renderer for Dialog, Music, and Effects under Studio External Dolby Atmos Renderer Setup. Finally, open the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window under Project and set the renderer to External Dolby Atmos Renderer. At this point, you can start adding audio objects to the Dolby Atmos Renderer. So now let's take a closer look at the three group beds New Window 11 Multimedia Project. On the left side of the screen, I have a New Window 11 7.1.2 Dolby Atmos project open. And on the right side of the screen, the Dolby Atmos Renderer remote software connected to the Windows computer Dolby Atmos Renderer software. If we take a look at the Audio Connection window output tab of this project, I've created three 7.1.2 output buses for dialogue, music, and effects, a dedicated LTC channel for transport timecode reference for the external Dolby Atmos renderer, and only added a few object channels to this project using the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window. Under the Group Effects tab of the Audio Connection window, I've created three 7.1.2 groups one for Dialog, routed to the Dialog output bus, one for the Music, routed to the Music output bus, and one for FX, routed to the FX output bus. One 7.1.2 group for the Background, routed to the FX group, and one 7.1.2 group for Foley, routed to the FX output bus. We also have three 7.0.2 FX channels with reverb plugins, routed to the Music, FX, and dialog output buses. Child buses were also added to each group and effect channels in this project. Now, for example, I can solo the dialog group bed. Some things never change. Others do. The music group bed. Or effects group bed, including sub FX group, such as background, or Foley. A different type of reverbs to each group bed using effect channels. For example, if we look at the stereo music score track in this project, routed to the group music bed, I'm also sending signal to the music FX reverb channel to the stereo left and right speakers and top side left and right speakers. Now, if we take a look at the music effect channel, I've inserted two Stenberg Revelation reverb plugins with different settings adjustments. And using the routing editor window under Select Input Configuration, set the plugins using the left and right arrows of the editor window to the stereo left and right speakers and top side left and right speakers. Note that the routing editor also offers cross-connection where the inputs and outputs can be rerouted separately by unchecking the link function 
of the routing editor. Let's take a closer look at the routing editor window. To open the routing editor, click on the icon on the upper right corner of the selected plugin and select Open Routing Editor. The routing editor window will show the speaker configuration of the selected channel with the upper squares representing the inputs of the effect plugin, the middle field, the effect plugin, and the lower squares, the outputs from the effect plugin. The straight lines represent the connection bypassing the selected effect plugin. Now to send signal from a bed audio track, group, FX, or output channel to the LFE, you can use the LFE control knob of the VST multipanner available on bed audio tracks, group bed channels, effect channels, and output channels. Or you can use the Send function available on the Inspector Left Zone section of the Project window or Mix Console. Pre or Post Fader. For object channels, use the send function prefader to send signal to the LFE. Note that I'm using the track visibility configurations feature of New Window 11 available on the setup toolbar menu to save and recall different channels within the project. Finally, I've created several VCA channels to further fine-tune the volume automation of the different track types in this project. Thanks for watching.